CompTIA ITF Plus, FC 0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 191 through 195. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 191. Which of the following terms best aligns with a relational database? The answer is D. Structured. A relational database is best described as structured because it organizes data into well-defined tables, rows, and columns. Each table in a relational database has a specific purpose and is related to other tables through foreign keys. This structure allows for data to be queried, retrieved, and maintained efficiently and accurately. The predefined schema, relationships between tables, and rules for data integrity all contribute to the structured nature of a relational database. Question 192. During a routine check of the company's firewall settings, the IT department inadvertently set a protocol to deny all. Following this change, employees across the organization were unable to forward emails. Which protocol was most likely restricted? The answer is A. SMTP. SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is the primary protocol used for sending emails. When the IT department inadvertently set a protocol to deny all and employees couldn't forward emails, it indicates that the SMTP protocol, responsible for email transmission, was most likely the one that was restricted. Question 193. Which type of internet service is most likely to remain operational during a power outage? The answer is A. Cellular. Mobile devices like smartphones and tablets have their own internal batteries, allowing them to access the cellular network even when local power is out. Additionally, cellular towers typically have backup power sources, such as batteries or generators, to ensure continuity of service. Question 194. Which of the following OS types is designed to manage other operating systems? The answer is C. Hypervisor. A hypervisor is a type of operating system specifically designed to create and manage virtual machines, which run their own operating systems. The primary function of a hypervisor is to allocate resources and oversee these virtual operating systems, allowing multiple operating systems to coexist and operate on a single physical machine. Question 195. Which of the following password policies will best protect a password from a brute force attack? Choose 2. The answer is C and D. Password length and password lockout. Password length increases the number of possible combinations, making brute force attacks more time-consuming, especially when the password consists of a mix of characters, numbers, and symbols. On the other hand, password lockout policies halt login attempts after several failures, preventing continuous guessing and rendering most brute force strategies ineffective. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.